Welcome to uh, my weekly video blog for this week. Um, this week has been difficult, but not for uh, any of the normal reasons. This week was difficult because right after I spoke to you last weekend, uh, I went down with a horrendous cold. Um, and it really was quite bad, actually, as, as colds get. I mean, I don't get many colds, so there is a danger that when I get a cold, it's the end of the world. And believe me, Monday and Tuesday felt like I was suffering from the bubonic plague. Um, I wasn't, obviously. Uh, I just had a bit of a sore throat and a cough and a blocked nose and all the rest of it. Uh, but I, I wasn't actually dying. <laughs> um, what I did was... Uh, I took the week off in terms of springboard. I took the week off in terms of walking uh, to and from work. I caught the bus every day last week, uh, which was okay in one sense of the word because it, the, the weather right at the start of the week, uh, when the, the cold was at its worst, um, was so appalling I probably would have, have caught the bus anyway. Um, and I took the week off the allotment. Uh, again, it would be unlikely that I would have gone much this week with the weather being poor. Um, the weather on the back end of this week has really, really changed and it's now <sighs> quite hot, actually. It is quite hot. Um, so I uh, basically went in my bus, uh, did my job, uh, came home and then I would literally uh, do Sweet FA all night. Um, I had the heating on because it was cold. Um, I don't believe that you can particularly sweat out a cold, I have to admit. Uh, but I do think that keeping warm is quite important um, if you are not feeling uh, well. Um, I dosed myself up on lem sips and all the rest of it. Um, and it took three days really until Wednesday uh, for the cold to begin to abate. And then, as quickly as it came, it went, and you might be able to hear me now, uh, I'm not stuffy at all, I, you know, I have none of the, the, the cold symptoms, it's as if uh, it never happened. The one day uh, I took off from my diet, because I uh, kept with my healthy eating plan this week completely, except for uh, the, the Tuesday, um, which was really, really bad, and I wanted to test the ad adage uh, feed a cold and starve a fever and all I can say is it doesn't work. I felt as bad whether I was eating shit or, or eating uh, burning clean. So um, I decided that the one thing that I would do this week, uh, despite taking uh, my eye off everything else, uh, was to sort that out and I would continue with the healthy eating pro uh, program. It's doing so well that I feel that uh, I'm now going to sort of start making targets and actually, you know, um, actually doing it uh, not as an experiment, but actually uh, see how how this goes. So that's a good thing. Uh, I did have a friend of mine um, find a starling that had uh, dropped from its nest. It, it obviously uh, it could fly and it could eat, so it wasn't a nestling. It, it had fledged for all intents and purposes, but it was incredibly young uh, and it was attacked at a feeding station by a magpie that managed to rip out its tail feathers actually. Um, pretty hideous, poor little thing. Uh, needed a place to stay for two weeks until these tail feathers went back and then could be released. So I said, well, um, I'll take it, you know, since the RSPCA A had been, uh, sorry, the RSPB had been most unhelpful. Their general motto is, kill baby birds that you find that are not uh, where they should be, basically. Um, because, and I admit that it is extremely hard to save them. Um, in all my dealings with wild birds, I've never yet been successful. Okay, there was a quilla a long time ago, the baby blackbird that died. There was the two baby colt, well, three baby colt tits this year. And now there's the starling as well. And he actually did quite well. Um, he lasted overnight. He was still fine. I let him play around in the aviary after I'd closed that down 
uh, on an evening so that he could stretch his wings. And I really felt like he was going to be a short-term little thing in a cage that I pretty much ignore. Uh, and the reason that I wanted to do that, of course, was because my plan was to let it out into the wild again. So the it, it didn't really need any interaction from me. It needed uh, feeding, watering, uh, and you know being able to fly around the Avery, maybe uh, the flights in, on an evening, uh, and that's it. But it died, and I don't know what killed it or why it died. But some of these things, I just think they need their parents when they're you know small. So, uh, at least we tried, is all I can say uh, for that. My, uh, the three chicks from uh, Flo uh, fledged this week. One of them died, unfortunately, uh, of exhaustion. The other two, a male and a female, have managed to fledge. And they will be named uh, this weekend. Um, what else? Ah yes, last week, uh, last week on Monday I told you I was getting a new computer, uh, a new phone, possibly a new camera. Um, <clears throat> let me first explain that that didn't happen. And the reason it didn't happen was because it was a bank holiday uh, and I didn't, wasn't able to get any money out. Let me explain what's going on with that. I'll start with the phone. My phone uh, is pretty rubbish. And... Um, I'm on a pay-as-you-go, so uh, I don't get an upgrade or anything like that. My nan had a phone that was pretty modern in comparison. Uh, it's um, All I needed to do was transfer the SIM card. The problem is uh, it's locked to a specific network because that one was uh, a contract phone. So I do need to take it into town uh, and get it unlocked so that I can use it. Uh, but then that's going to become my new phone. The number and everything else is all staying the same. Um, so uh, that's not actually going to cost me any money except for uh, unlocking. So I want to make that quite clear. I haven't suddenly come into a lot of money. The uh, new camera, this will depend uh, on a few things. It will depend on how my cameras interact with uh, the new computer that I'm getting. Um, and it will depend on what's going on with the camera, uh, the newest camera, 6 or is it 7, I can't remember, that's, that's not doing so well at the moment. I think it's not doing very well because there's something wrong with the lithium battery. So I'm going to change the lithium battery and test that first. Secondly, they both have to be compatible with the new computer that I'm getting. If they are, fair enough, we'll just keep them until they sort of, sort of, we run them down. If they're not, screw them, because I'm sick of not having what I need uh, to, to, to be able to do this sort of thing. Where am I going to get the money from? Very simply, uh, the cash back from changing the mortgage. I need to check that that's in, but, but finances, I did get a shock the other day when I discovered finances pre-payday were better than they should have been, uh, by quite a large margin. <laughs> And we are talking within the £100 region. So I want to check to see. Uh, in thinking about it, that should have come through. Uh, but I want to check and see. Now, if that... Um, if I don't need to use that for the, for the new camera, uh, then I'm just going to leave it. I'm not actually going to spend it or use it on anything. I'm going to leave it as a, um, a buffer zone in my normal account. So finally, this new computer, okay, a couple of weeks ago my computer completely crashed. I am able to use an interim computer, which was remastered basically, a second-hand thing, uh, from my nan that didn't want, didn't want it and I'd kept it. And it's not something that I'm going to throw away, I will keep it, because it's pretty good as a low-tech computer. It's not what I need, uh, it doesn't have the editing software it's not um, up to date enough, uh, and that really bother, bothers me. Um, so I felt that I would need to get a, another uh, um, computer. I'm going to go for a laptop, probably. Um, and that means, unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to take money out of the account that is uh, going 
for the savings for the bike. Um, and ultimately, I felt a bit bad about doing that uh, because, of course, that will delay uh, the time it takes for me to get personal transport uh, probably beyond the end of the five-year plan. Um, however, something else has come up um, and I shall be able to replenish my savings up to um, around about £200. Uh, I'm getting that... Um, from a source I'm not going to tell you about, actually. Uh, <laughs> but let's just say that uh, I have actually a way of being able to use uh, money from the, um, the personal transport savings account and paying it back uh, before the end of uh, the summer. Uh, so that's really good. That's really good. That allows me, basically, to get another computer at a loss of maybe only 50-odd pounds I will, I will take £200 out of the, uh, that savings account and buffer it, probably with the extra £100 I got from the, the cash back from the bank. Um, but the basis of it is that that will mean that I will be able to, to do all that. Uh, and I'm going to do that tomorrow. Now I also have some uh, shopping to do tomorrow. Um, I'm going to uh, golden bowl uh, my wardrobe. Uh, this month, ready for the summer, which is nice. We have a busy period coming up, including uh, my nan's 90th birthday is on the horizon. Uh, we also have uh, my parents' uh, planned move. That's going on. Uh, the Tour de France is coming. I shall speak about that uh, at some point between now and when it happens. The World Cup, not that I'm interested, but it is a thing that's, you know, uh, coming. And that's um, up in the next sort of uh, couple of weeks. Uh, obviously, things are going absolutely mental at the, uh, the allotment at the moment. We're planting stuff in uh, and netting stuff. And uh, there are some photos online of that that I've taken already uh, today. I will hopefully tomorrow be able to get you an update, a video update on that. Uh, and of course there's the garden. The garden is gone absolutely mad. I have uh, lupins. I have red hot pokers. Red hot pokers. They have, they have excelled themselves. Last year I had none. I was very upset. I considered digging up the plant at one stage. Uh, now that it has gone mad. Um, so I should take some photos of that as well. Uh, unfortunately that is one area that um, needs weeding in the lower part. In the upper part You've now got plants growing so close together that they're, that they're pretty much okay. But on the bottom part of the terrace, I have slipped up with not being able to uh, properly weed that area, which is something that I have to do. That is, I think, about it uh, for, um, for this week. So hopefully next week we'll be back to usual with our, um, our video blogs uh, and everything else. Um, and then I can get sorted on uh, the plan I have for uh, the reintroduction of the mixed martial arts uh, picks, predictions, and in what form that is going to come, and catch up on that as well. Um, and oh my god, I'm so busy, so busy, and I'm sitting here doing absolutely nothing. And a very happy birthday to all the following. We've got Catherine Drakes. James Kraus, Michael Johnson, uh, Wagner Rocha, Stacey Marriott, and Jojo. A special happy birthday to Jojo. Um, I hope he gets to eat lots and lots of cake. Um, I would, but I'm on a diet now, so I don't even eat cake at my birthday. Sorry. <laughs>